There are a, a limited, very limited number of countries that have begun to administer third doses, which we would call booster doses. And I think one of the really strong points that we want to make is that there are a larger number of countries that are contemplating this. The evidence is evolving, it's moving. We don't have a full set of evidence around whether this is needed or not. And the most important thing at this point is that for countries that are contemplating this, that we need instead to focus on those people who are most vulnerable, most at risk of severe disease and death, to get their first and second doses, and that we can move on to how to advance programs as the evidence gets stronger and as supply is assured and we have much higher coverage for those first doses in much greater percentages of populations in every country around the world. I think the second point is really around this evidence. This is a really big decision about administering third doses to people who have already been vaccinated. And it's incredibly important that we're clear about what the data are, that the data are strong in supporting or not in support of whether or not those doses need to be administered. If we're not really grounded in that clarity, we're going to be in a place where we have forever uncertainty about what actually should be done.